Capricorn, welcome to you, big welcome. This is your tarot reading for the month of June, coming from the mountains of Java. I really hope that you find it useful, Capricorn. And Capricorn, if you do, if you could like, subscribe, hit the bell and pass a comment. It just helps me with these YouTube algorithms that I don't do so well with. But above all, Capricorn, this is about you. I really hope that you get something from it. You may well be asking, why from Java? What's important about tarot from Java? And the truth is, there is nothing so important about tarot from Java. Simply that here in Java, we have many different spirits who will come to help in, in your tarot reading. It'll probably put a different reflection on things. For example, the spirits here are less likely to be concerned about love and finances, despite people in Java being every bit as interested in these things as the rest of us. But maybe the spirits are trying to tell us something else. Now I'll be using probably two decks, but out of three decks. So the first deck is Tarot Nusantara. The second deck is the Steampunk deck. And the third deck is the Light Visions Tarot. Um, Tarot Nusantara is actually a new one to me, which, which I love. Whereas the Light Visions, um, I've struggled with as a result of the rendering. Um, although I, I think I'll grow into it, I, I will keep using it and coming back to it. You can see on all of them, I'm using quite a lot of uh, salt, and that's to clear the energy and the spirits from them, something that I do fairly regularly with my tarot. And I also, you'll see a number of gym app there that I use, um, just to bring a good energy to the tarot um, and to my reading. Perhaps the most important mystical object we use in Java is the Chris, the curly knife that you can see that I've placed across both decks. Chris are very important for bringing the spirits to work on any object here in Java. I call on the spirits of the mountain to assist me in shuffling the cards, in selecting the right cards and interpret them for Capricorn for June 2022. Capricorn, this spread looks to me like a very nice spread, a very good spread. Uh, but it's also suggesting to me that there's something more here. That you can gain a lot, but there's something even better that could be had. If you look at the middle card, the Ace of Coins, it's all about wealth, money, abundance. Going in search of new wealth and abundance. Bottom right hand corner, the King of Pentacles. This is you being methodical, maybe a little bit slow moving but reliable. Currently you're juggling with things. Currently maybe you're juggling with money, maybe you're juggling to make ends meet. I think it's more likely you're just juggling with multiple priorities. I don't think you're failing. No, I don't think you are, but I, you're just juggling. Maybe it's work-life balance and that's all there is to it. In the future, we have a lovely card. We have the Two of Cups. Suggests a new love. It could be simply a new person. But certainly something nice that's new. Uh, the card impacting on the outcome is the Empress card. Uh, she's the Earth Mother type. She's a card of indulgence. It could be a card of pregnancy. But I don't think it is. Now, the card that would prevent the outcome is the Earth card, or the World card, sorry. And that suggests a completion, that suggests new luck. But that's offsetting the outcome 
which is the king of pentacles. So this is a king who's very good with his money. So you could end up, I think, with abundance of money. Uh, but this world card is saying that there's something more that you could gain, something even better. I don't think you're going to go for it, but it's possible. And maybe this reading will help you to find it. So Capricorn, the energy running through this entire reading is that of the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe you're manifesting wealth, maybe. But I think it's more about, well, no, I don't know at this stage. But it's probably more about new financial beginnings, new financial opportunities. So it, it's a great card to have in this position. Because this card runs throughout everything. You look at the card, there's a vineyard there. So that's a source of income. Uh, but you want to go through that gate into that arid landscape. And it's only through challenging yourself, through doing something new, that real wealth will come. And you know it. Maybe you can simply extend the vineyard, I don't know. Or maybe there's something else on the other side of that gate. But that's what's beckoning you. That's, that's, that's the energy that, as I say, goes throughout this entire reading. And I need to keep reminding myself of that. Now, Capricorn, we've got the Knight of Coins. Now, he's a strong knight. He's a dependable, very, very dependable knight. Determined knight. Puts one foot in front of the other. Uh, but he moves very slowly. And I think that maybe you're a bit fed up that the wealth that you're trying to create isn't happening quickly enough. I just get that feeling from this. Now this card is in the past. So I think you've taken on new things. In fact, that Ace of Coins would suggest that. You look at this card, well, yeah, you know, the horse is, is it's hardly, is it moving at all? He's got the, the coin in his hand and he's looking at it. So there's a determination. He, he will complete the job. You know he will. He's going through that another parched landscape here. Going through another parched landscape. So, you know, times will be difficult or will have been difficult. But you are determined. I think it's a card of great hope. I don't think it's a bad card at all. Now I said I thought you'd taken on new things and I think you have because your current energy is the two of pentacles. Uh, this is you juggling with priorities. This is you struggling a little, struggling a little to keep everything going. Maybe you've taken on a second job. Maybe you've got a side hustle. Maybe you're just struggling with work-life balance. But you, you are finding it a bit of a struggle. You are finding it a bit hard going. You look at the card, he's walking along a shoreline. I mean, I don't know about you, but I always find it difficult walking walking on the beach at the best of times. But try walking along the beach and juggling two heavy objects in your hands, which is what he's doing. I don't know if the tide's coming in or going out, but you've got that extra impetus of maybe there's a time limit on what you're doing. So, yeah, it, it's... It's a little bit of a struggle. It doesn't mean that you're going to fail, though. In fact, I don't think you fail at all. I think you're going to succeed. But you're just feeling it a little bit at the moment, Capricorn. That's all. Capricorn, in the future, we've got another two. But this is a two of cups. I'd normally associate it with a new love. A new divine love, in fact. Almost meeting your soul partner. I mean, it could just be a new person comes into your life, but it's certainly something coming into your life. It's something coming into your life that I think does impact positively on your wealth. I mean, you know, if, it, if it's a new love partner, maybe it's just the two incomes, or maybe they're wealthier than you. I don't know. You look at the, you look at it, well, yeah, they, it does look to be about love. Are they exchanging those cups? I don't know what that creature is above them, but it, it's suggesting there's something divine about it, isn't it? So it's, it's a good card. It's a good card to have. It's a card of partnership, that's for sure. 
Ja. Capricorn, the card that impacts on the outcome is the Empress card. She's an Earth Mother. She's somebody very much in touch with nature. She's somebody that loves the good things in life. Indulgence. Somebody that goes to a spa. But you know, she's somebody that shares these things with others. Now, of course, if you've got a new love here, this, is, this could be you sharing your world with somebody else. The other thing, if it is a new love, it could indicate a pregnancy. You look at this card, she doesn't look pregnant, this particular one, but I, I think I have to consider it in these circumstances. Yeah, she's very much there, out there in nature, isn't she? Now, two other, two other signs have already had this Empress cropping up. And in both cases, it was about them being a little bit over generous and being taken for granted. I don't think there's any indication that that's the case for you, Capricorn. But I do need to keep it in mind. Now, Capricorn, I, I want to let you know that this is a lovely reading. So whatever happens, it's a lovely reading. Uh, but we have this world card here, which would prevent the outcome. So the world is a cycle coming to an end. It's normally associated with luck. So you could end a cycle, or you could keep repeating a cycle. Most chances are you're going to keep repeating the cycle. Chances are this card doesn't happen. But I think what it's saying to us, there's even more to be had. There's even more to be had if you can learn the lessons of this cycle. And it's also associated with luck. It could be associated with travel. But it's certainly a sort of a rebirth type of a card. So very interesting to be coming here because it's suggesting even though you're going to be blessed, you could be blessed with so much more. Now, the reason why I'm not sort of freaking out about that world being in the position it's in is the outcome is a lovely outcome anyway. It's the King of Pentacles. So it does suggest that you're going to come into money, suggests that you're good with money. Uh, so it suggests everything's going to work out for you. You remember the overall energy is the Ace of Pentacles. So... Maybe you have started a new financial venture. And it, it, this is saying to me that it's going to pay off. And you look at it. Well, there he is in his finery, sitting in that throne. He's got a, a buffalo carved onto the throne. And that's because of these uh, coins cards come from the people of Taraja. And they sacrifice buffalo. Uh, when they send people off to the afterlife, when they finally have a funeral. What they actually do is they, they keep the dead, um, probably in the house, for many years until they have the money, save up enough money for a funeral. And then they, they, they kill many buffalo to send them off to the people to the afterlife. So that's what this is about. So, as I say, it's a nice act. Uh, but that Earth, that world card suggests that there could be even more to you. So we really need a bit of clarity on that, don't we? Yeah, let, let's, let's get clarity on this, this world card. And the first one we get is the star. So that is rebirth. That is a rebirth. I've got it right. We now have the devil attachments, unhealthy attachments. And now we haven't so far shown an unhealthy attachment to money, but I'm pretty certain that's what we should read into it. Uh, particularly because the final card is the Six of Pentacles, which is a card of charity. And I think it's urging you to be more charitable, to be less materialistic. And if you are, you have so much more to gain.
So yeah, the first card of Clarity, this star card, Rebirth, Hope, Faith. I'm certain this is about you moving away from the materialist world that has dominated your life and you finding something more, something spiritual, which is has far more to offer than the materialism that we're all so trapped in and indeed encouraged to be trapped in in today's world. So it's saying that there's a new world out there for you, a world that's much more spiritual and less materialistic. And you look at the card, well, it's beautiful, isn't it? She's sitting on a star, well, sitting on the moon, is it? But anyway, maybe sitting on a star, swinging on a star, You'll find true happiness, you know, by turning your back on this materialism. That's what it's telling us, for sure. And we have the Devil card, which is warning us about an attachment, an unhealthy attachment. And I'm certain this is you having an unhealthy attachment to money. And now... I'm not certain that your unhealthy attachment is any different to anybody else's. Uh, but I think you're just very, very materialist. You measure things through money. You think the worth of a person is their wealth. And, you know, we're all being encouraged to do this. We're all being encouraged to do this. But this card is warning you. I'm not warning you, but it's saying there's much more. It's almost saying that you're on this earth as a hungry ghost. That your desire for money is insatiable. And you look at the card, well, you know, there's the devil above the foundry. And they're having to keep feeding coal into that foundry oven to keep it going. And what are they keeping going? They're just keeping going, the, the devil. You know, um, I don't think it will be published by the time this comes out. Um, but I've, I've, I've produced a vlog called The Dead Economy, whereby I argue that so much of what we do, our jobs, so many, in fact, all economies, do nothing to satisfy the needs of humans. We're just trapped like a gerbil on a or a hamster on its wheel running and running after trinkets running and running uh, towards things that we're told we need and we, we blatantly don't and this is what this warning is about And we, we have the antidote here, we have the antidote, which is the Six of Pentacles, which is saying, just be more charitable. And I don't think this is just being more charitable with your money. I mean, it could mean that. Uh, but I think it's being more charitable towards others. Now, do you know, we, we've just had a little incident at our home in Jakarta. And the, the neighbours who... who well, they're hungry ghosts. They're consumed with jealousy towards us. Without any foundation for that jealousy. And my wife has been growing plants in the garden. And they've got a window that overlooks one of these plants. And they've poured out water on it. And my wife was planning on putting up metal barriers to prevent them from doing it but would also stop them from seeing out of their window and I just said don't don't allow it to get to you don't allow it to get to you they're hungry ghosts feel sorry for them they've been put back on this earth and they'll never be happy and I think the warning is here because of that devil card if you chase the materialist world you'll never be happy because it's insatiable. It's like the Romans said. It's like drinking salt water to quench your thirst. It just doesn't happen. So you're being offered a different life here. You really are. Uh, you look at the card. Well, she's Lady Bountiful, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. 
So there is an alternative, there really is for you Capricorn. Capricorn, this reading for June is all about materialism, all about money. And I think you're a very materialistic person. And you've been, well, you're opening up new opportunities for money. You're very determined and I think you feel that things are moving a bit slowly for you. Um, and maybe you've taken on more than you can really cope with. But you're struggling a bit at the moment to, to juggle everything. I, I don't think that's a problem. And, do you know, the, I think there's a new love. It could be a partnership. It could just be a business partnership. But I think there's a new love. But, do you know, this, this new love, I've got the feeling that this new love is either, you know, you, you marry a sugar, sugar daddy or you marry a trophy bride because you're so materialistic, you see the world in that way. And mm, there is an Empress card here, which is the Divine Feminine in touch with nature. And that doesn't suggest that, well, no indulgence, of course, indulgence, like in the good things in life. Yes, you're very materialistic and, and you want you want these you want these indulgences, you want these material things. I don't think I don't think you're a particularly mean person. You could be, you could be, but I don't think you are. I think you're quite happy to share your wealth. I mean, it could be that, that this new partner or you get pregnant, but I don't think that's what it is. No, I think you like luxury. And what you haven't realised is that, you know, you, you, you get yourself, I don't know, a Tesla. And then you find out that everyone on your street's got a Tesla. So now you want a Lamborghini. And you don't begrudge others a Lamborghini. I don't think you're necessarily that jealous. I think there is an indication you're something of a hungry ghost. But you're just hungry for more. And it's never ending. You're like a hamster on a wheel. You keep needing more and more and more because it's unsatable. And the truth is, you're going to get it. You're quite good with money. You're going to get what you want. But I don't think that gives you happiness. I don't think it gives you happiness. Now, there is an opportunity to find happiness. I don't think you're going to take it. But that opportunity is through turning your back on this materialism. Finding a more spiritual life by being more charitable and generous towards others. And I think it's not just a monetary generosity, uh, but a generosity of spirit. Seeing the world in a different way, and you would find even more happiness. Uh, but I don't think that's what you take. Maybe you'll, you'll listen to this and realise that it's what you should take, but I don't think you will. No, I think you will pursue the materialist life and you'll be quite successful in doing it. But maybe there'll always be that nagging thought that there could have been more to life than what you got. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed Tarot from Java as an addition to my channel, The Magic of Java. Please take a look at the other, the other uh, videos that I have on this channel about Magic from Java. And I hope that you will be, become a subscriber. Now, if you want to find, hear your next tarot reading, hit the button and that will inform you of when I publish new, um, new readings. I'm certainly going to do a reading for every month, but maybe I will try them a bit more frequently, say a mid-month reading, and maybe also some special readings. But above all, thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you, and enjoy Java. <laughs>